In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash an NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT or GTS for use in a Mac Pro. Now in this video, I'm going to be using a uh, my 2006 Mac Pro, um, but the method is more or less the same with a uh, 2008 or newer Mac Pro as well. Now there's only one slight difference and that's what file you have to flash, but um, other than that, the process is exactly the same. So before you get started, you're going to need a couple things. Um, the first thing you're going to need is a PC with a PCI Express slot uh, for use uh, to flash the card. Uh, you're also going to need a PC running Windows. Now it can be the same PC as this. Now keep in mind, uh, the PC we're actually going to be using for flashing doesn't need to have a hard drive connected. It doesn't need an OS installed or anything. Uh, we will be booting it off a flash drive and I'll show you how to make that uh, flash drive in just a minute but um, you'll need a PC running Windows uh, to prepare the drive and to download the files uh, necessary for flashing. So I'm going to be using my uh, MacBook Pro here which is uh, running Windows via Boot Camp. So um, also before you get started you're going to want to make sure you have a compatible card. Now right here I have a BFG NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT uh, 512 megabyte card. Now keep in mind only the 256 or 512 megabyte card will work uh, with flashing. Now there is another type of 8800 GT or GTS uh, which I actually have one right here because I bought this by mistake but if you look at it and yours says uh, it has 640 megabytes like this one or 320 megabytes it will not work with this flashing. Now this is a GTS and uh, it's a better card I think than the uh, GT, it has a bigger cooler at least, but um, yeah, the 8800 GT 256 or 512 meg cards will work, and it can be a GTS as well. So in this case I have a 512 megabyte NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT, which we will be using for the flashing. So once you've gotten the card ready and you've verified that you have the correct and compatible card, uh, you can go ahead and start with the flashing so or start with the preparation of the USB drive so I'm going to switch over to my piece or to my computer running Windows and show you how to do that so I'll be right back alright so on your Windows PC you're going to want to make sure you have a flash drive now uh, this flash drive is only one gig and as you can see it is missing the casing but that's of course no problem because it works perfectly fine now your flash drive can be as small as 32 megs for this to work, so um, any flash drive will work pretty much. So uh, just insert it to your computer, and I will show you what to do. Alright, so a few, there's going to be a few things you're going to need to download uh, on your computer. You're going to need to download Rufus, which I'll, I'll put a link to all this stuff in the uh, description of this video. But you're going to need to download Rufus. Uh, to make the flash drive, and you're also going to need uh, NV Flash, which is just a series of two uh, EXE files you can see there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Rufus. And once it loads up here, I'll show you what to do. Alright, so once it loads, you're going to want to make sure you have your flash drive selected up here. And you're going to want to make sure uh, file system is set to FAT32. And then down here where it says create a bootable disk using FreeDOS, just make sure that's checked and leave it uh, as FreeDOS and go ahead and select start. Select OK. And it will take a few seconds to complete. And it is now finished. So now what you're going to want to do is open up your flash drive, which you can see is right here, and you're going to want to copy in. Uh, you're going to want to copy in two files. So uh, you're going to need the ROM, the uh, Mac ROM for the card, which you can actually uh, download from here. Let me go ahead and show you that real fast. All right, so you're going to want to go to this web page, which of course will be linked. And you're going to want to look for uh, these two ROM files here, the 8800 GT EFI 32 ROM and the 8800 GT EFI 64 ROM. Now, if um, 
If you're using a 2006 or 2007 Mac Pro, you're going to want to download the EFI32 compatible ROM. If you're using a 2008 or newer Mac Pro, you're going to want to download the EFI64 compatible ROM. So once you've downloaded the ROM of your choosing, uh, you can go ahead and uh, save it somewhere where you know and rename it to something you can easily type in. So I've just named mine to 8800mac.rom and uh, yeah, so we're going to just go ahead and put that on the root of the flash drive. And you're also going to want to open up the NV flash folder and copy these two EXEs in the root of the flash drive as well. So once that's done, uh, we have done we are done preparing the flash drive, and you can go ahead and plug it in to the computer you plan to use to flash the card. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and hook that up and resume the video when I'm when I'm done and show you the uh, steps needed to actually flash the card. So I'll be right back. All right. So once you've gotten the machine hooked up with your graphics card installed and just keep in mind, you don't actually need a second graphics card to flash with, um, but you may want to have one just in case something goes wrong and the flashing fails and the card won't post anymore. Uh, if you have a board that has multiple PCI Express slots like mine does, uh, you can just use another PCI Express graphics card. But if your board only has one PCI Express slot, uh, you're going to need a PCI graphics card. Now keep in mind, you don't need this unless something goes wrong so if you don't have a second card just hope uh, that everything goes well and you should be fine now in my case I've already set the flash drive to be the primary boot device so it'll boot straight off that so let me go ahead and power up the machine So let me wait till it posts. All right. And once again, if yours isn't set to be the primary boot device, uh, be sure to set that or select it in your boot menu. All right. So as you can see, it has a loaded free DOS. So the first command you're going to want to type in is nv flash dash dash check. And this will basically just show you the uh, NVIDIA card that's currently installed. And as you can see, it is detected there. So now what you're going to want to do is type NV flash dash dash save. And then you can just type any name you want. So I'm just going to name it 8800GT.ROM. And basically what this will do is back up the current PC ROM that's currently on the card. Uh, to a file in the flash drive. So I'll go ahead and run that command there. And wait for it to complete. And as you can see, there's the uh, ROM data there. So now what you're going to want to do is type nv flash dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash j and then you're going to want to type the name of the Mac ROM. So I'm going to, it's currently named 8800 Mac.ROM. And this command will flash the card. So um, at this point, if this fails, uh, your card will be temporarily at least bricked and you will need to uh, use a second graphics card to boot your machine back up and uh, reflash your backed up PC ROM. So I'll go ahead and press enter on that and wait for the command to complete. Now it will ask you these questions, so just type yes. And I did that, but didn't seem to have accepted it. Now, I'm not sure why that is, I might have been um, typing in the command wrong. So I'll resume the video and uh, show you the correct command to type in if I was indeed uh, doing it wrong. Alright, so uh, the flashing did actually fail as you can see. It says uh, ROM image too large for EEPROM. Now if you get this error, 
Uh, that means that you have a 512K EEPROM on your graphics card. As you can see, it says it right there, uh, 512K uh, X1S. That means it does have a 512K EEPROM uh, on the graphics card. Now, in order for this to flash properly, it needs at least one megabyte uh, ROM. So that other 8800 uh, GTS graphics card that's not compatible with the Mac Pro that I have actually has a, uh, a one megabyte EEPROM on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that EEPROM off. I'm going to desolder it and then solder it in place of the EEPROM on the 8800 GT graphics card that is compatible with the Mac Pro. And then I'm going to flash the ROM for that 8800 GTS on it and flash the Mac compatible ROM onto this card with the new EEPROM installed. So now that seems a little bit complicated. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about this because most of these cards do have EEPROMs that are large enough for the Mac ROM. However, this is an exception and I uh, will have to swap the EEPROM. So I'm going to do that real fast and I'll resume the video once I'm done. All right, so I just finished swapping out the EEPROM on this graphics card, and um, I put in a second graphics card, as you can see it there, uh, to boot the system, because of course it's not gonna boot with the uh, ROM from a different graphics card flashed on it. But um, yeah, I just put it in and booted it up, as you can see. And on the screen here, you can see it detects both of the cards, the GT520, and for some reason it says a GT, or a 9800 GTX for the uh, other one with that ROM I put in it, but look at that. It says 1024K. That means it's one megabyte. So now we should be able to flash the ROM. So let me go ahead and type the command. Alright, and this time it should flash successfully. Oh, I forgot. Since it has two graphics cards, you have to, uh, before you, after the dash J, you have to type dash dash index colon one. I think it's, it's either index colon one or index equals one. I can't remember exactly, but I think it's that, so. Let's try that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Why? Yes. Why? And now the flashing should proceed. Hmm. So apparently it is not working. All right. Just give me one sec and let me see if I can figure this out. Alright, so I just took the card back apart and it turned out that one of my solder joints on um, my uh, ROM that I soldered to the to the uh, new graphics card was actually uh, bad. So I touched that up with my soldering iron and now as you can see it uh, detects it properly as an 8800 GT ROM and that is what I flashed to it but I guess the flashing failed. But uh, So let's go ahead and run the flashing command and see if it works. Alright, so this should work. Let's type yes, y, and y. Alright, so it turned out that um, my soldering job was still not good enough uh, after I thought I fixed it the second time uh, to uh, get a good contact with the ROM and the board. But as you can see, I have finally managed to get it in good contact and the update was successful. So now we should be able to put this card in the Mac Pro and we should get an EFI boot screen and it should function normally. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the Mac Pro 
and we'll give it a test. So I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see, I have gotten the NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT graphics card installed in the Mac Pro. So, if all goes to plan, when we power it up, it should show a white EFI boot screen and Apple logo. So, here goes nothing. Alright, the fan got slow, that's a good sign. Let's see if we get a picture. And we do! And we got an Apple logo. And as you can see, it booted. Go ahead and log in. And yeah, this comes up because for some reason, um, this machine will not um, detect graphics cards if the PCI Express bus is set to full X16. I'm not exactly sure why that is. It may be a problem with the motherboard, but uh, it works fine on X8, and I don't think uh, X8 should really bottleneck it at all. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and quit that. Uh, so let's go to about this Mac, and let's see what's detected. Alright, so as you can see, it detects it as an NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT 512 megs, as we would expect. Um, and under graphics and displays, you can see uh, that it is running at X8, and it detects everything perfectly fine, and the card is uh, fully working with uh, full graphics acceleration. So yeah, uh, yeah, pretty smooth. The uh, animations aren't laggy at all. So yeah, that is how to flash an NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT or GTS 512 meg graphics card for use on a Mac Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video.